Hello photographers, I want to show you today some basic edits. You've probably taken some photos for mood shooting challenge and maybe stalkers and uh, you want to do a little bit of editing to make them a little bit more dramatic. So I want to show you how to do that. So I've got this shot here. I was trying to get my son, who's five, to do a kind of private eye film noir kind of look and he had his own ideas in mind and so he decided to be a cat so that's why you have him lying in the sun in the in the window there so um i'm going to show you a few things i'm going to show you how to crop it down and i'm going to show you how to uh, turn it black and white and add the contrast a little bit all right so here we've got a crop tool on the left hand side so these are different tools you click on click on them paintbrush and stamp and, and whatnot ruler and these different tools we will learn a lot about this crop tool has options that show up along the top all right so um, this ratio of three to two if it's not typed in already this is what you want to keep it at because what that does is when we crop down it allows the ratio of the rectangle to stay the same as when we took it in the camera so it doesn't make a strange photograph uh, ratio that you can't print when you if you ever want to print a photo all right so you want to keep that three and two typed in like that and then um, line it up crop it down and then either double click or you can hit this check mark up here at the top so i'm going to double click inside and now it's cro cropped down um, now you might have already taken a black and white photograph by setting a a monochrome setting in your camera but if you didn't you can still turn it to to monochrome here after the fact in photoshop we're going to be using adjustment layers which are over here on the right hand side and they are our bread and butter as edits for photography and we're going to learn a lot about them in this course but for now we're going to learn just about two of them all right so the first one is the black and white adjustment layer so it's on the second row third in from the left we click it and bam you got a black and white photograph now um, unlike when you take photos in black and white in camera when it only it decides for you what that black and white photograph is going to look like this offers you a little bit of choice in how that black and white looks so if you take these sliders like the red slider for instance and bring it way down you'll notice that my son's red hair darkens all right because it's darkening the reds um, same thing with the yellows and so you can kind of go up and down and kind of tweak it so you can be happy with the adjustment set of photoshop um, kind of decides for you or you can play with the sliders a little bit to optimize the look that you want to get so there it is black and white so if i go back to layers now this might look a little bit different for you your properties might pop up on the left hand side um, if you have a different version of Photoshop than I do, but that's fine. You'll notice the layer. So you've got the photograph in the background, and then you've got your black and white layer. All right? This is called non-destructive editing, which means that here, if I click the eyeball, you can see my original photograph um, before, I cr before I added that black and white, and click the, the eyeball again to make it active. Um, means that it didn't change the original, it's just layering that edit over top. All right, and it's a really effective way to edit in Photoshop. Okay, so now I've got that um, in there and I'm going to um, add a little bit more brightness and contrast to it. So um, that's the very top one on the, on the left-hand side. You can also use levels um, and I can show you both at some point, but the brightness contrast is quite simple. So you've got two sliders. Brightness, bring up the brightness, it makes it brighter, darker, and so on and contrast as well same thing all right so you bring the contrast up you notice that the background darks really really um, get amped up there so i really want to amp up that contrast because i really want those rich blacks um, and most of what's going on in the background just kind of melt into black inky blackness and then the brightness i'm bringing up just a little bit because i'm aiming for black to white right it's called a black and white photograph for a reason i want some uh, really dramatic perfect whites in some areas and total pitch black in, uh, in other areas okay so there you go so i've got a super dramatic black and white photograph I come back to layers here and you notice that edit is right there so if i hide that away you can see what it looked like before 
right? Same photograph, just less um, extreme, less dramatic, but I'm going for that extreme look right now. And I've got those three images. So before you save it, um, you can save it like this and it would save as a PSD file, which is a Photoshop file, if you wanted to come back and work at it. But if you wanted to post it to Flickr or something like that, you have to flatten this image. You gotta uh, smush these uh, edits down into the black background layer and save it as a JPEG before you can put it up because Flickr wouldn't recognize a PSD file. So over here at the, the right-hand side of the layers palette, You've got this uh, menu here. You click that and a whole bunch of options sh show up, but you're looking for a flattened image. Hit that and now the edit is there. Okay, so the, f the adjustment layers are gone and they've taken those edits and put them into a single frame. All right, so then you can uh, file and you can save as. If you want to save a copy of that, so I'm going to go uh, keep the file name, but then I'm going to add edit at the end, save it, keep, take that slider right to maximum, hit OK, and that's the file that you can uh, post and upload to Flickr when you're ready. All right, so give that a try. It's just two simple edits that you can add, uh, or one simple edit if, you're, if you've already taken your shot in black and white, um, cropping and enhancing the, the contrast. Give it a try.